now to one of the Olympic firsts from Monday. This is going to be the best part of the programme, I think. Kosovo's first medal in their first games, and it was the gold, and it was won by Melinda Kelmendi in the women's judo. And guess what? She joins us now. Very windy. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> How was it for you? Where was it for you, first of all? Because here we are at the Olympic Park. Do you know where you were? Yeah, it's there. I guess <laughs> one of those buildings yeah. over there you created history by winning gold for Kosovo are you aware of the political ramifications for that what that means politically back home well first of all that means a lot to me but uh, the most important thing that that means a lot uh, to my country not just for sport of Kosovo that means a lot for Kosovo as a country I'm so happy that I can uh, help also my country through uh, sport uh, in political side. Uh, through sports, things get much, much easier and uh, much better. So, yeah, I feel good and I feel blessed that I can help my country. Kosovo only declared its independence in 2008, only recognized by the International Olympic Committee in 2014. Now, it's no surprise that you've got the gold medal. You're good at what you do. But were you aware when you were out there fighting for the gold how much it would mean to the country? Yeah, I knew that uh, the gold medal from, from the Olympics would mean too much for my country so I wanted so bad to win uh, I have worked so much for this medal uh, I have worked so hard but I also would like to thank so much uh, first of all my coach and then the president of the International Judo Federation Mr. Marius Wieser because you know all my story starts with him because in 2009 he came in Kosovo and then he said that I was in Kosovo and I saw an amazing judo class and then about three or four months after I won the World Junior Championships so I don't know everything started like uh, like fun when I was a kid and yet yeah, today I'm an Olympic champion and I'm doing so much for my country I don't know what to say. You've had messages of congratulations from the Prime Minister, yeah. the President well, that's, that's huge, that uh, make, make it uh, much more special. Uh, I was happy when I saw them there. Uh, to be honest, I didn't really know that they, they will come. So yeah, I felt very happy and I also saw that a lot of, I mean, everybody in Kosovo saw my fights. I'm happy that uh, for maybe two or three days I can make happy people in Kosovo, especially kids, which watch me as a hero now. As a child, when you were growing up, were yeah. you aware of the conflict going on around you? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, during the war in Kosovo, I was in Kosovo, me and my family, we couldn't escape from Kosovo, so uh, it, it's a period of my life which I don't remember so much, fortunately, and I don't like to remember it so much. Uh, but I am a kid which have survived a war, and I think this is something which have made me stronger and yeah, today I have a strong personality and I'm, I'm more confident. What do you say to those countries that still refuse to recognize Kosovo, Brazil being one of them, Greece another, for example, what would you say to them today yeah. with this medal hanging from the roof? <laughs> I really hope that uh, the things will get much better and much easier for my country, for Kosovo, because people from Kosovo are very kind and welcoming and they really don't deserve to be isolated how they are right now. Uh, I mean, we, it's the only country who needs visa to get in Europe and that's not fair. Uh, so I really hope that this medal will make other countries to, to recognize Kosovo because we really deserve it. And just one other, very, very quickly, it was funny because when you came in here to this studio, if we can call it that, with the wind blowing, <laughs> this medal was actually tucked away in your pocket, like, a, <laughs> like money. Yeah, I, I can have it in my chest because people run after me and they want to have photos and it's like, I saw for one photo and then I have to make like 100, 200. So I had to put uh, a hat and glasses and like run. <laughs> It'll be even worse when you get back home. Yeah, I, I know.
Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for taking some time on BBC World News. Right, okay.